What is going on guys? Welcome back to the DS Asylum. I'm your Ward of the Mitchie Shrine and today I want to go over what at least I believe to be the three best extreme units in Dragon Ball Legends. Now before we get into this, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and where, where is he? Where is he? I probably should have pulled him up beforehand. This man Gokua, this man's Gokua is not on the list. I could have sworn I did that earlier. <laughs> this man's Gokua is not on the list. Because, let's be honest here, the only reason he was ever good was because of the hybrid meta. Like, don't get me wrong, Goku is good. Being the first and still only transforming EX unit will, you know, bring you good things. But I just don't think he is, or really ever was, a top... I mean, maybe he was top three when he first came out. Like, when he first came out, he was definitely, like, something, like, actually special. However, like... Yeah, he was really only as good as he was because of the hybrid Saiyan tag. And whereas there are still some very powerful hybrid Saiyans, Sword of Hope Trunks, Ella Future Gohan, you know, there's still some powerful hybrid Saiyans out there. I can't exactly say the meta is in a place where Gokua is as effective as he once was. So he's not on the list, but I suppose I might as well give him an, give him an honorable mention since if this were a top five list, he most likely would have made the list but we are going to start out number three this man's right here the zenkai ex ginyu frieza force in general is a heavily slept on team it's actually really goddamn good especially if you have lf full power frieza he can come in nullify any endurance just for existing so you know units like sort of hope trunks and future gohan really need to be afraid of that frieza and then this EX Ginyu is just all around very good. He's got really good de uh, defensive stats. He's got okay offensive stats, but the thing about him is he's constantly buffing himself up. He's got the support when he switches standby, extra support if there's any other Ginyu Force members. Um, you know, he gets the damage, reduced arts cost. This guy is very good. Like he genuinely is heals himself when he comes in. And the biggest thing about this uh, unit is one, his stackable card draw speed on his green card, which is ridiculous, but also the body change. Now with the main ability, he will lock himself and his opponent in for 10 timer counts. And this awakened arts is more or less a, like a guaranteed one HP move if used on any unit that's at like 80%. So like this, this uh, card is basically an 80% damage card, like just flat out, which is actually pretty interesting because it gets 80% to awakened <laughs> damage. <laughs> so that's actually quite fitting, but it essentially is like a guaranteed to one card. And even if say, you know, you use the awakened arts card to, you know, get your opponent to vanish, I believe the Awakened Arts card is a short animation. I'm not sure. It's been a minute since I've used it. But even if it's not, no one is gonna combo Ginyu long enough for the um, for the lock-in to end if you pop it immediately. So even if you're not hitting them with the Awakened Arts, you lock them in and you just rush them and then that's that, right? It's like, if, if you're worried about being locked in yourself, you just combo them, waste a little bit of time, just keep track of how long they've been locked in and rush them towards the end of the lock. Then once the rush is over, maybe try and buy yourself that extra one or two timer counts and then swap out. Ginyu can really put like a lot of pressure on your opponent because even though he's also locking himself in, a lock-in is a lock-in. Any form of locking in the opponent can be incredibly powerful, especially if you're the one with the priority because you get to control how that lock-in plays out. So EX Ginyu is a very underrated unit. His team in general, the Frieza Force team, is heavily underrated. And I most definitely would say that he is the third best extreme unit in all of Dragon Ball Legends. However, we're gonna go on to number two, and that is the new EX Mai. EX Mai with Trunks. I do have to say that. EX Mai is the second best extreme unit in Dragon Ball Legends when she is with Trunks. The reason why that distinction is important is because when she is with Trunks, she gets an extra 70% blast damage and uh, plus one card draw speed when she enters the battlefield, and she gives a pretty damn good support. To trunks as well healing him by 10 percent and giving him 30 percent strike damage i mean the 30 percent strike damage is only going to happen once because it can't be stacked 
Um, but it's basically, that, that just means it's a permanent 30% strike damage buff, and she's still gonna be healing him every single time. So she's kinda got like a mini Vados style of support for Trunks. On top of making herself more powerful, she has a by default lowered sub count, which is very powerful. Having your sub count permanently shortened by two is extremely powerful. Um, she does have just basic damage buffs, 30% damage, um, you know, 20% reduced damage, which doesn't really help her because she's an EX, but whatever. <laughs> when she's defeated, she has support. She'll, she'll give 30% damage, 50% key recovery. People really underestimate just how good Flash is because Flash and Immobilize are basically free rising rush buttons. Like legitimately, her green card is a free rising rush button because it also shortens ally sub count by one. So let's just say you're fighting that pesky double endurance team, right? Um, you know, Trunks can't swap in yet. Like you're using Future obviously because you're running this mine. Um, your Trunks can't swap in just yet, but your Rosé, say you're using LF Rosé, he, he's only got like two sub counts left. So you get priority, hit the blast card, use the green card, that'll lower Rosé's sub count down. You then bring him in and rush. And now say you, say you just rushed Trunks, his endurance is now nullified. So the green card is extraordinarily powerful. Like even if it's just minus one sub count, that can be the difference between having to rush Sword of Hope Trunks with Mai and having to rush Sword of Hope Trunks with LF Rosé. Like, it, it does definitely make a difference. She gives a pretty big debuff, 20% to blast damage received on the blue card. Uh, all, all around, this Mai is very good. The only thing holding her back is her stats. And like, honestly, when you have a mixture of high damage buffs, card draw speeds, sub count manipulation, free rising rush buttons, support, death buffs, like when you have all of these things, I think low stats are something we can work around. I mean, come on. <laughs> we, we can definitely work around some low stats. But moving on to number one, the number one best extreme unit in Dragon Ball Legends. Um, I'm not going to cut. So, okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's see if I can't find them. It is EX Jiren. EX Jiren is, as Ryudin would say, an LF disguised as an EX. His stats are actually good which is crazy. Mine is at what, five stars? And his stats are actually good for an EX, especially an EX defense type. He can actually tank. He's got blast armor on his strike card. I believe he's the only extreme unit in the game that has blast armor on the strike card, which is crazy. He has massive impact on the blue, which is also not something you see a lot on uh, extreme units. His green card heals him by 15% and cancels his attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions and gives him 30 key. That is an, that, like, that legit is an LF green card. Like, there are sparking green cards that are not as good as this one. It's actually really good. He gets uh, minus arts cost on the main, which is very good. He shortens his, he, or he's not his allies, he shortens his sub count by three for 20 timer counts when he activates this, which is dumb. Like what? That is so long. And one of the biggest things about this unit is the 40% inflicted damage against tags Sun Family and God Key. Two tags that will always be good. Even if they're not the best, they will always be relevant just because of the units that exist on that on those tags. Plus the 90% damage he gets just for existing. Like you're legitimately getting 130% damage inflicted against these tags. And especially right now with Goku and Vegeta running around, Sun Family and God Key are a force to be reckoned with even more so than they were in the past. So like meta aside, this, this is a good kit, but if we actually, you know, take a look at what the meta currently is, He's pretty much going to be extremely powerful against every team except Future. And even then, he's going to be extremely powerful against LF Future Gohan. Because he's got Sun Family. So, <laughs> he heals himself when he enters the battlefield and gets a bunch of special move damage. It's like he, he nullifies his own, uh, ab uh, not abnormal element factor, what the hell? Unfavorable element factor when he changes cover, so it allows him to take type neutral damage. And he has support. Like, and he supports. Like he, he he's, he's a jack of all traits and he actually is a master of pretty much all of them. <laughs> this EX Jiren is so good. And honestly, like he, he, 
He's better than Topo, all right? He, he's better than Blue Topo on Rival Universe. The only thing that saves Topo at this point is the fact that he has um, endurance and can lock in with his ultimate. That's it. Those are the only two things that keep Topo on his teams. Jiren is a just flat out, this EX Jiren is just flat out better. And it's, it's actually kind of impressive how they managed to make an extreme unit this good. But let me know who your favorite extreme units are, not what you think is the best, but your favorite, because obviously I'm right. I don't need your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm kidding, but do let me know what your fa what your three favorite extreme units are in the comments down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are trying to hit 2K subs, uh, so if we could hit that, that'd be great. And uh, yeah, as I said, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that join button if you can. It really does help the channel out. All the links you could ever want are in the description down below, and I will see all of you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video. Peace.